In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple skeleton deformation in Synfig Studio. Using a skeleton deformation, we can animate a still image by squashing and stretching pieces of the image. So, to set this up, first import an image that you would like to animate. Now, before doing anything, it's important to make sure this new image layer is placed in its own group. So, select the layer, right-click, and select Group Layer. You can give this a name. Now, expand that folder, and here's our kitten image. But if we want to resize this to fit on the screen, we should resize the entire group. Now select the image group, right click, and select new layer, distortions, skeleton deformation. Turn off the skeleton deformation layer. Now we can begin building out the bones for our character. The first thing we need to do is set the area of our image that should be affected by the bones layer. That is this green box surrounding the first bone. Simply drag this out to cover your entire image. It doesn't have to be precise. Now we can place our first bone. With the first bone selected, right-click and select Create Child Bone. With the second bone selected, again right-click and select Create Child Bone. To add bones to our arm, we want to select the second bone again, right click and select Create Child Bone. And now we have a basic skeleton set up for our kitten puppet. However, in order for the skeleton to make any changes to our image, we need to set influence areas for each bone. So to show the influence areas, click on the toggle width handles button at the top of the screen. Now our bones have a little purple dot that we can use to increase the area that the bones are influencing. So we will set, for instance, this bone to cover the head of the cat. Now if we turn on the skeleton deformation layer, we will see the image gets totally messed up. That's because the pose has not been reset. Right click on the skeleton deformation layer and select reset pose. You'll also notice that we have pieces of our image missing. That's because those parts that are not covered by the width of the bone do not get included with your image. So turn off the layer again and we will change the width of our main bone to cover the entire cat. And now all parts of the image are included. So we can start playing with our cat.
you may need to adjust your bones to prevent some of the weird warping that you see happening on the edges of the head and the arms in particular. We can also squash and stretch our image. And if we don't like what we've done, we can always right click on the skeleton deformation layer and select reset pose. So now you should have a pretty good idea of how to use the skeleton deformation tool. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us on www.dototot.com for more tutorials. Thank you.